the doorways open up and see What kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me I need to bury all these fears And let them fade away I'm not scared, I'm prepared Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for coming and watching this. I am going to talk about Nail Forest King. It's a missing cold case. There is foul play suspected in this case. Nail went missing on 326 of 2013 from Oroville, California. He is considered endangered missing male, white, his birth date is 4-24-1988. He would be 35 years old today. When he went missing, he was 24 years old. He is about 5'11", 120 pounds to 130 pounds. He was wearing a light green long sleeve thermal shirt. I'm going to bring up his picture. blue jeans, and brown hiking boots. Nail suffers from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. He is a Caucasian male, red hair, and green eyes. Also, people call it auburn hair or strawberry blonde hair. That could describe his hair color. The investigating agency is Chico Police Department, 530-897-4911. Nail was last seen in the 4,000 4, block of Hilldale Avenue in Oroville, California. I'm just going to put up the number for the police department in case it sparks somebody's memory. Three years before Nail disappeared, he received a 30000 legal settlement and used the money to leave his native Texas and travel to California. He and two friends purchased a house and 12 acres of land to grow marijuana. The business soon expanded and became highly profitable, but he kept his source of income a secret from his family in Texas. One of the contacts King made as a result of his marijuana sales was Donald Edward Chatham. Jr., who owned a business called Amazon Garden Supply. In the spring of 2013, the two men struck a deal where Edward would buy some property on Old Olive Highway from King in exchange for 160 pounds of marijuana. King had given him half the amount by the time of his disappearance but complained to his girlfriend that Edward was not holding up his end of the dam. And he thought Edward was stealing from him. He said he would never do business with Edward again. On the day he went missing, Neil went to have a meeting with Edward. His girlfriend became concerned when he didn't return home by evening and drove to Edward's house. 
When she saw Nail's pickup truck parked out front, she assumed he must be there and went home again. The next day, when Nail still hadn't arrived home, his girlfriend returned to Edward's house. Nail's vehicle still parked in the same spot. When she knocked on the door, Edward refused to come to the door. He spoke to her through the wall and said Nail wasn't there and he hadn't seen him all day and that he was looking for him too. Nail's girlfriend didn't report him missing until March 29th because she thought he might have been arrested. Since his disappearance, there hasn't been any activity on his cell phone or bank accounts. An examination of his truck turned up no clues. When questioned by police, Edward said he and Nail had conducted a business transaction in Berry Creek. And after that, he dropped Nail off in a remote area at Oro Qu Quincy Highway and never saw him again. Authorities were suspicious of his story and searched Edward's residence, finding a stolen gun, 120 pounds of marijuana, and $59,000 of cash. Edward and his wife were charged with receiving stolen property, cultivating marijuana, and possessing it for sale. None of the charges were related to Kig's actual disappearance. In March 2014, the charges against Edward's wife were dismissed, and he himself was acquitted of everything except one misdemeanor count of marijuana possession. Edward had an authorization to use marijuana for medical purposes, but wasn't allowed to have more than one ounce at a time. Edward has been named a person of interest in Nail's case. However, in November 2019, he and another man were shot to death in Cla Clapham Falls, Oregon, and a third man was injured. Gillian Bradley has been charged with second-degree murder, attempted murder, and other offenses in connection with the shooting. Foul play is suspected in Dale's disappearance, and authorities believe his drug involvement was a factor. Again, if you have any information on Nail Forrest King's disappearance, please call Chico Police Department at 530-897-4911. I do have a news article I wanted to show. Alright, so right here, and this is another picture of Dale. A 24-year-old is missing from Butte County, and sheriff's officials said Wednesday they believe foul play is likely involved. Neil Forrest King's girlfriend reported him missing March 29th to the Chico Police Department, according to a news release from the Butte County Sheriff's Office. He was last seen March 26th at 401 Hill Dill Ave in Oroville, meeting someone for a business transaction involving marijuana. No one has heard from King since the early afternoon hours of that day. Detectives are investigating the case and have served several search warrants throughout Butte County. Deputies said, based on the information gathered so far, foul play is suspected. The release Foul play is suspected, the release states. King may have last been in the Berry Creek area, according to deputies. He wore blue jeans, a light green thermal long sleeve shirt, and brown hiking boots. He stands about 5'11", weighs 120 pounds, has green eyes, and very short red hair. Anyone with information is asked to call Detective Jay Freeman at 530-538-7671. And this is the picture that they show in the article. So they do definitely suspect the foul play and his disappearance. You know, I would as well, seeing as though that it has to do with a drug transaction and the car was parked in the driveway 
And the picture of the man in question is right here. I was trying to find a better picture of him, but I couldn't. All right. That should be big enough for everybody to see. So that is the man, and that is the person of interest in Nail's case. He is now deceased, but if anybody has seen him or knows anything about him, please say something and call the number on the screen. And this is several different pictures of Nail. He was only 24 when he vanished. Very young man. So please guys, remember to hit that like button, comment below. Let's light Nail's way home. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a great day. I love you all.